Hey, what's up, Santi here, and hey, what's up, Santi here. Today, I want to show you my new favorite flashcard application. This one is called Mochi, and I'm super excited to show you because I've been using this for a couple of months, I believe, and I absolutely love it. It has quickly become my favorite one. Before this, I was using Anki, and even though Anki is really powerful, really good, it's definitely overwhelming, um, and it can just fail a lot of times, and you just need to like do tons of work, crazy workarounds to get it to work all of the time. So I was getting kind of tired with that. I also used the this device, <laughs> phones they call them, to do my space repetition, to do my flashcard practice every morning. And honestly, the experience in Mochi couldn't be better. So yeah, I want to show you, I want to share with why I believe it's such a great app. So as you can see in here, it says is notes and flashcards using Markdown. So of course it uses this format of Markdown, which makes writing and structuring flashcards really easy and really nice, right? It works for Windows, Mac and Windows. Windows, Mac, and Windows. No, Windows, Mac, and Linux. <laughs> there you go. I've used it in Linux, I've used it in Mac, I've used it in Windows, and I know it works great across all of those. I mean, it has tons of really cool things. Space repetition, bi-directional links, which in case you're familiar with Obsidian and Rome and this kind of stuff, you'll know the power of that. And it's actually really good because I haven't seen many flashcard applications doing this. It works with Markdown, like we said, and you can even import things from Anki if you're moving away from Anki. Cloud syncing is great, you can use tags. I'm gonna show you some of this stuff. And yeah, here's a quick demo that I'm gonna walk you through in a second. Now, you know, of course you're wondering, I know you, what is the price? Here's the price. And what is the main difference? The free one is gonna let you literally use Mochi to its full potential. The only limitation that it has is that you cannot automatically sync it to your phone because for that, you're gonna need the pro plan. Now. We're going to talk more about this, but I do have a discount code for you. So it's your first month for free with the code Santi Younger. So all together Santi Younger, I'll leave that so that you can copy. Uh, it's all together either way. I'll still leave it in the comments. I, of course, appreciate that if you use it, that supports the channel. But honestly, I, I contacted the creator of this. I wanted to find a way to collaborate. Matt, great guy. And I honestly want him to be able to keep making this amazing product for longer. So with that said, let's just take a quick look. So here's a nice demo that you can actually see just to feel what Mochi feels like, right? Feel what Mochi feels like. You get, you get what I'm saying, right? Here you can read some of the markdown instructions and how things work. I do recommend you check this out. When you create an account, you'll also get access to all this stuff. Yeah, either way, you can take a look and it even gives you some examples of like what it looks like to use it for language learning, for instance, which is something that I also use. I believe this is an amazing tool for, for learning stuff, PKM, you know, personal knowledge management, learning all kinds of stuff, maybe fan facts, maybe things that are related to your work, all types of things. You can really do it here and it's going to be really nice to organize it all. So with that said, let me actually show you what it looks like, uh, what my mochi looks like. So let me just open it real quick. Why did I switch to my face? It's here, mochi. There we go. So it's loading. And it's syncing data. It just takes literally a second. You saw how fast it was. And we're just straight away sent to the do today. These are the flashcards that are meant to be done today, right? So every day, the system, the algorithm inside of Mochi is going to decide which flashcards you should practice today. If you want me to dig deeper into that, I can definitely make another video on that. But for the sake of keeping this short enough, I'm going to show you how you send things to the do today. And that is by, of course, creating cards. So here I have one a test for video. I just created two decks inside of that, one for cryptocurrency, another one for psychological concepts. And here you have an answer. So for instance, I don't know, like I'm going to do something dumb. Okay. So what's my favorite route? <laughs> and now what you need to do in order to, let me move my face out of the way to have the answer to this question, you need to do shift enter or do those three hyphens. Yeah. Either way, that's how Markdown divides things, but this is how much it decides what is the front of a flashcard? What is the back of a flash, uh, flashcard? And of course, banana. How do you spell banana? <laughs> is it like that? I just Google it. That's how you spell it. I was going to make the excuse that in Spanish it has double N, but it doesn't. So <laughs> either way, what's your favorite fruit? There you go, banana. And now you can save it in here or press Control Enter, whatever you like. And now you can see it's nicely formatted. Now what you can do from here is you can study the new cards you can cram them there's a slight difference with new cards you actually send them to the queue of like the flashcards that you want to practice day by day or cram is just like literally for practicing so right now let's just practice it like that what's your favorite fruit banana you know it yes what is this there we go 
Do we know it? Yes, that kind of stuff, right? So we go back here. We can also do the new card. And as you can see, the do today is empty. But whenever we practice any of these and we add to reviews, now there's going to be one added to reviews. We can also do the same for this other one right here where we can either cram it or study it. And as you can see right now, we only have one added to today. So if we add this one, it's added to reviews. Now we have two added for reviews, right? Now you can also organize things in decks. As you can see, I have some other ones in here. I just literally created this kind of deck folder where I just did it for the sake of example right now, but you can always create more subfolders. So for instance, right now we can add nested folder and I just, I don't know, let's do it, fruits, whatever, right? And now I can just reorganize the one that I created on favorite fruit. I can drop it there. And on this top folder, I can actually change the view to show maybe grid view. Yeah. And now I can see them all like here, which is a bit nicer to navigate. And you can just change the views of any single one of these. So for instance, like, let me show you another wise a nice one. Um, list view like that. This grid, uh, grid view is really nice. You can also see both sides so that you can see the the front and back of any card. But yeah, that's the basic idea. If we just get my face out of the way, you can see that there's also a nice dash dashboard where you can see uh, a lot of different statistics on how have you been doing learning your cards day by day, that kind of stuff. So it's pretty nice. And then by default, you're always met with the do today. These are the flashcards that you're meant to practice on the day. So let me actually show you what this looks on the phone. So you can see how I work on my phone, just like reviewing every flashcard every day. So let me just open this. Here's my phone. Welcome to my phone. I have this on the nice on a, you know, on a sidebar so that I can access it at the top right here. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, Mochi. And it's going to just take a second. Actually, that was fast. The thing is because I already had it open. As you can see, it already added the two flashcards in the do today so that that way you can actually start practicing whatever is do today. You show the answer. If you don't know it, you press X like that. And then we have another question here. If you know it, you press the check in there, right? And then you can re-review the ones that you missed, which are this one that I just pressed the X on. And now it's just check, right? And you can do the same thing for like all types of things. Uh, I want to explain really what I'm what I'm doing with this other stuff. But let me show you because it's pretty nice. I have a system for memorizing numbers. And this is kind of based on celebrities and stuff. It's, it's kind of confusing his memory techniques. And 92 is represented by Naval, this guy. And this one is by Olivia Newton, you know, stuff like that. I just have like tons of random stuff. But as you can see, you can display images and it's really nice. And right now this is because I'm, I'm using the cram functionality. This is not really affecting my algorithm because I don't want to mess too much with it. But yeah, as you can see, I have tons of like random stuff like this. <laughs> and that is just for me for memorizing different aspects of memory techniques. A whole nother topic, if you want me to expand on that, I can definitely do that. But yeah, I have all this stuff. I have Italian and yeah, here I can like literally just quickly check everything or I can, of course, study them. What does non importa mean? You know, anche a me, stuff like that, non fa niente, in bocca lupo, which is a really cool expression. This is actually a good example um, of, of a nice expression that you can link to something else. Let me go back to the computer. Let me just show you what this one looks like. So as you can see here, I have an expression in Boca al Lupo, right? And this just means break a leg. This is how Italians kind of like wish good luck to each other, which literally means into the wolf's mouth. But as you can see here, I have a reference. And this just means that there is a reply to this thing. This is because in this other flashcard, I mentioned that this is a response to in Boca al Lupo. So you can connect, you can connect different nodes and you can actually create these links between them, right? Similar to Obsidian, similar to Rome, this kind of stuff. So let me show you how I do that because that is really, really powerful. So for instance, let's go to this example that we had on crypto. Yeah, this one right here, okay? So I'm gonna edit this one and this is related to another concept called blockchain, right? But what I want to do in here is I want to actually link it to my other flashcard that is related to blockchain, which right now we see is up here. But let's say we have a lot more cards, so you can actually search it, double bracket, and let's just search for blockchain. There it is. And as you can see now, there's literally a link between this one and this one right here. So now whenever you're studying one of these, you can see that this one takes me to another flashcard. And in this flashcard, I see that this was referenced in another one. So it's this linking system that helps you really understand 
how a flashcard is related to another one. You can get more context and you can actually create links that make your flashcard experience of writing way, way better. There's tons of amazing features. I can definitely explore this a lot more because there's a lot. There's a lot that Mochi has to offer and I think it's, it's an amazing, amazing tool. So I'm really excited to, you know, be showing it to you. So yeah, with that said, if you want to give it a try, either go for the free version or go for the free month that you can use my code Santianger. It's just Santianger. And yeah, with that, you'll get a free month. Or if you want to go for the annual plan, you'll get a month's worth for free. So yeah, if you want to check it out, definitely go for the code that supports the channel. And in general, I really want Mochi to exist for as long as we can. Matt, the creator, is an amazing guy. He's doing a great work. And I'm just super excited to be able to promote such an amazing amazing app. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna stop pretending I'm working like I was just waiting for the outro. Either way, see you later. Bye. <laughs>